everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. So I want to take a look at a trial that's going on with Ghislaine Maxwell. Well, well. <laughs> I'm not sure if I say her name if I'm going to get some algorithmic challenges to my video. Uh, let's take a look at the trial, however and uh, maybe we'll be just fine and scoot under the radar. Um, I just wanna know what's going on with this trial, what's gonna be happening. So I'm gonna shuffle up the cards and we'll get started. So when I pulled out some of the cards, I did a 10 card overall spread and I got some interesting cards on this. Um, first of all, for the first card coming out, I got the Wheel of Fortune, which is the card of fate and karma. So things are in motion that can't be stopped regarding this trial. Um, that card was crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. And I saw that as an end of a cycle. Nines sometimes can represent a completion. So something that has been completed relating to an end, I think of an era or a cycle. And it has a heavy karmic overtone to it with that wheel card underneath. The top card is the lover's card, which is the card of partnerships, strategic partnerships. And this is right on top crowning the whole thing. So it seems as though the ending of a cycle related to karma impacts powerful partnerships. Now, underneath this, digging deeper, I wrote down in my notes here, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And when I saw that card, I just saw this, I got this sense of digging deeper into the financial aspect and the financial realm, and that stuff was gonna start to surface related to financial activities around what's been going on. So there's going to be some financial ties and financial connections that'll be coming out in the open with regard to this. Then we have the Two of Swords in the past position. I thought this was interesting. Two of Swords is about being in denial and it's a picture of the gal like this. She's blindfolded, she's got two swords across. Like, I don't wanna see, I'm not looking. Well, what's interesting about that, the sense that I got is that with denial in the past, to me it was like they're not gonna be able to deny anymore. That's fading into the background. They're not gonna be able to deny anymore what is coming out because on the future position we have the judgment card, the card of the day, your day of reckoning. So we have this heavy card of reckoning next to the card of the Wheel of Fortune in the way that the spread was laid out. And to me, that is like, this, this is so heavily karmic related, the final judgment, they're not gonna be able to deny anymore what's happening. The financial dealings are gonna start to be exposed and how these things were financed and whose deep pockets may have been involved. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot coming out with this. The card on her is of self-reflection. So, and it's kind of a little, the Seven of Cups. To me, that's like you're, you're looking over what your accomplishments have been and also your own reflection about your involvement with your life, your future, all of that. So that's on her. The five of pentacles is on the environment around this, which is a caution about taking risk. So this whole thing is really risky. Um, I think there's going to be a lot coming out that is going to implicate people it's going to, and it already is, from what I understand, some people are reporting on what's been going on with the trial, but 
people are going to be implicated and it's a dangerous situation for them because their stuff is going to be coming out. Their stuff that they've been wanting to hide, I should say. Now, the Tower card comes out also. We've got a lot of major arcanas coming out and that Tower card is, and it's sitting right on top of that risk and caution. So I think this is going to be an explosive chain of events coming out of this trial. That tower card is sitting in the position of, of wishes and hopes or worries. And so that's definitely on the mind of many, I'm sure, who are worried about what's coming out with this trial. And then the last card is the moon. I find that fascinating because the moon is the card of what's hidden the veil, the mystery. And that is the overall outcome. So while there's going to be a lot going into this and a lot of energy exposing things and implicating people and a lot of people being exposed, there's also the moon on that outcome, which, which I wonder if there will still be some stuff, perhaps, that remains behind the veil or remains hidden. But I think the good news is there's a lot coming out. And we do have the King of Pentacles underneath. And that is a powerful money master, a powerful, wealthy person that wields much influence and to have that underneath it tells me that that's what this is about it's getting to the bottom of the power structure and who wields power who holds power in this whole realm of human trafficking so um it's going to be interesting to see i'm going to pause the video here we're going to look at a couple of specific questions in terms of what is this jury going to find? Are they going to convict? Are they going to let her loose? <laughs> Let's see what comes. I'm going to shuffle up and be right back with that. I wrote out another spread. Uh, I wrote out some specific questions, I should say, and laid out some cards and I've got some really interesting dynamics going on between the cards. So I'll try to explain to you what I'm seeing here. The first card out on the question of will Ghislaine be found guilty by the jury? Will she be convicted? I've got the nine of swords, the anxiety card. I take that as a yes. Um, that is a card of, of extreme stress, anxiety, guilt, um, yeah, so I think she will be. They will find her guilty. Uh, will other people be indicted as a result of this? Now, this is interesting because when I lay the cards down, I look at the energy of how the cards kind of play with each other. And so um, I'll explain some of the dynamics going on. But just to give you the cards coming out on this question, will other people be indicted as a result? I've got a queen. And this is usually uh, a strong, positive card on things moving in that direction, I would say yes. Now, the next card is what will happen to Ghislaine. I've got the lover's card. Now, this is partnerships, okay? Strategic partnerships. This is where I thought the, the dynamics of the card were interesting. Check this out. This merman is kind of grabbing on to this mermaid and he's pulling her his direction. She's kind of like resisting, like, I don't want to go. And she's looking back the other direction. She's not, it's like she's being pulled his way and doesn't really want to go with him. That's what I see with this, okay, in the artwork. Now she is looking back directly 
at this female who's looking directly at her in the way I had the cards laid out. Oh, and maybe you can see that. So these two, this female and this female are looking right at each other. Now, this, the energy I'm getting from this, because the questions are, will other people be died, indicted and what will happen to Ghislaine? Now, with Ghislaine, she's paired up with that guy that's pulling her away. And what I sensed is that she just, what I get from it, is she's going to prison. Okay. But with her looking back at this other question is, are other people going to be indicted as well? She's looking back at others and I'm seeing a connection with more, with a female. I think there's another female that could be indicted with this. I mean, obviously men too, but there's another female, perhaps a ringleader as well. And that's what I'm sensing with it. But yes, to answer the question, yes, she is going to possibly be, maybe she's going to be incriminating other people. And so other people will be indicted as a result. I do see that, that somehow other people will be indicted, incriminated, and she, she meaning Ghislaine, is going away. I do see that. Um, the next card out is, will more information come out about this trafficking that's been going on? I get the King of Cups on that. Card of making an offer, a steady, strong card. Um, yeah, I think more information is coming out. And the fact that this King is also looking back at these other two cards, looking back at the Lover's card, the energy is flowing back into those other two cards I think there's more there's more information coming out this is all going to come out next question is are there others who are involved in what's been going on this word that I don't want to get banned for okay traffic ing king of swords are there others involved and look at the word on that ambition I mean, we're talking about an enterprise, a global enterprise. As much as good people are horrified at the thought of human slavery in the modern day, which is what this is. I almost wanted to go off on a tangent there. I think I'll, I think I'll tone that down a little bit. But I was going, I wanted to go off on a little sidebar about why this. Number one, why is this not being televised? Why is Twitter deleting the, the one page that was following the trial? Twitter deleted that page 10 days into the trial. Why? We're talking about human slavery. You would think that 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 would be a huge newsworthy item and yet there's hardly a blip on the news okay enough said about that i'm going to get off on a tangent if i let myself okay um will justice be served to those who participated with galane are is are we going to see more indictments justice come of this i've got the high priestess on that major arcana to me that's a huge yes Okay, this is this card. She's about inner world, inner reflection, um, intuition. But I do sense that big yes with that. So these are really strong cards coming out with two kings, a queen, a lovers, and the high priestess, and that nine of swords indicating anxiety over the verdict. Okay, now the moon card again underneath all of this was hidden. This is the whole thing. This is the network that's been hidden. And right now it's coming to light. So hold that intention that all of this is coming out. Imagine it down in down the future, maybe a few, few years out, how grateful we are that all of this came out when it did in 2021, as it is now. We're just going to hold that and hold that place in the future that yes, we're seeing that. It's coming out, it's coming out. And this, 
enterprise is going to have to be driven further underground if it's going to exist at all, okay? Hopefully this will disrupt their means, their, their pathways, what they've used, their finances will dry up, their people that they've connected with, the deep pockets, the corrupt judges, the corrupt institutions that have allowed it to go on. Um, this, this is human slavery and it's, it's just, it's time this ended. So um, anyway, it's looking good for the trial. I do think a lot is gonna come out of this and I think a lot more people should be paying attention. And shame on Twitter and others, seriously, shame on them. This, would they, would they support it if we were back in the 1860s? Would they be pulling down people's pages if, if this existed back then? Would they be pulling down people's pages that were trying to cover a trial against slave owners? Because that's what this is, slave owners. Hello? Anyway, all right. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you next time, and uh, hopefully this will all come out in the wash. All right, have a good one, everybody. Bye for now.